Hello, tiny tigers. Welcome to another video class. Let's start by bowing in. Chari up, toes touching, hands at your sides, eyes on me. Ginye, go map snida. Good. Jumbi, pull hands, step left foot, double punch down. Good. Okay, we're going to start with a little warm up. Our warm up is going to be a little quick feet today. So we're going to start with bending our knees just about one inch, just a nice low, stable position. Hands can be up here in your fighting hands position. And we're just going to take our right foot and we're going to tap it in and out, okay, as fast as you can go. So right foot, go. Tap it in and out. Good. Make sure you're breathing. Good. We're just going to go 10 more seconds. Tap it as fast as you can, in and out. Three, two, one. Good, stand up tall. Shake your legs out. We're gonna do it again on the left side. So you're gonna put your hands up, fighting hands. Knees bent, nice low position. Left foot, tap it in and out. Good, you're putting all your weight on the standing leg while the other leg goes in and out. Good, 10 seconds, go faster. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Ooh, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna mix up our right side and our left side. And we're also gonna mix up position down and position up. Okay, so really pay attention. Position down, hands always up in fighting. Right foot, ready? Quick taps. Left foot, so you have to switch. Change your balance, woo, almost fell over. Good, position up, right taps. Position down, left taps. Position up, keep doing your left taps. Position down, keep doing your left taps. Position down, now right taps. Position up, keep doing your right taps. Position down again, woo, paddle. Oh, very good. I'm a little bit warmed up, are you? A little bit of stretching. Take your legs wide. Left hand on your left leg, slide it down while your right hand comes up and over, right next to your ear, and reach towards that wall over there. Good, stand up straight. Right hand on your right leg, slide it down. While the left hand reaches up and over and reach Stretch towards that wall. Three, two, and one. Both hands up in the air. We're gonna lean back and stretch. Good. Hands out to the side. Lean over, keep your head up. Good, now you can put your hands to the floor, but keep your knees straight. Good, now drop your head over. The 10 seconds. Stretching down. Three, two, and one. Roll up. Excellent job. Hey, tiny tigers, have a seat. Let's go to position two. Sitting on your feet, hands on your knees. Okay, today's quality that we're working on is teamwork, which is working together. And remember when we work together, we help each other, right? We're kind, we use nice words with each other. And we don't argue, we get along. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today. Let's go ahead and get started. Tiny Tigers, stand up. All right, Tiny Tigers, we have my lovely assistant Wolf here today and he's gonna help us demonstrate our first teamwork drill. Okay, so we're gonna face each other. We're gonna go to our horse riding stance, bend the knees, tuck the hips under. Good, and we need to be further apart so we don't hit each other. Okay, we're gonna pull our hands back to our waist. What we're gonna do is I'm the leader, he's the follower. If I punch with one hand, he's gonna punch with the same side hand. Same side, good, and then pull it back. If I punch with the other hand, he's gonna try to copy me almost at the same time, okay? So here's how we're gonna do it, watch. Auto. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on, smooth it off. Sure. Uh -huh. High five. <laughs> okay, so it's your turn. Tiny tigers, go to your horse riding stance. I'm gonna jump a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm the leader. You're gonna copy me, but you're gonna try to do it almost at the same time that I'm doing it. Okay, you ready? We're gonna work together. lovely assistant. Next one is going to be kicking. Same thing but with kicking. So we're going to face each other. This time we're going to go to our fighting stance. Hey! Good. You have to be careful on this one. Okay, so same thing. If I kick with this foot, he's going to kick with that foot at the same time. If I kick with this foot, he's going to kick with that foot at the same time. Okay, if I switch feet, He's gonna switch feet too, and he's gonna to try to copy me and do it at the same time. So watch how we do it. Very good. Okay, your turn. Ready? Fighting stance. Ha! Good. Try to copy, but try to do it at almost the same time. Let's work together. Ready? two things together punches and kicks working together you copy me as fast as you can almost at the same time ready go to your chumbi go to your kimasugi good ready oh sorry hugosugi ha ready Excellent job. All right, Tiny Tigers, next we're going to play a little game, and you're going to need a plastic cup from your kitchen. So ask your mom and dad to get a plastic cup. Make sure it's not glass or anything that's hard or will break. Okay, go get it and then come back. All right, you're going to pick two spots in your living room. It can be a couch and a chair or a pillow and a table, it doesn't matter, two spots. You're gonna take your cup and put it in one spot right now. Any spot you want to, okay? The challenge is <clears throat> to beat me. You're going to go, I should probably move mine a little further apart. You're going to go get your cup, when I say go, and then you're gonna get back to your middle spot as soon as you can. So let's practice. Put your cup on one spot. I'm gonna say ready, set, go. You're gonna run, get your cup as fast as you can, and get on your spot, go to attention. As fast as you can, good. Then you're gonna put your cup in the other spot. Okay, let's try it again. Try to beat me. Ready, set, go. Run and get your cup. Get back to your spot, quick, 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 and go to attention. Did you beat me? Good job if you did, good. Put it in one spot, doesn't matter which. This time, you're gonna get it from one spot put it in the other, and then get back to your spot. Think you can do that? Ready, set, 
Go! Get your cup. Other spot. Go to attention. Did you beat me? Do you have your cup in your hand? Oops. Or did you remember to put it in the other spot? Let's try that one again. Ready? Set, go. Who won? Did you win? Ready, set, go. Who was faster? Let's do it again. Ready, set, go. Good, I'm gonna make it harder. When you get to your middle spot, you're gonna to go to position three. Do you remember position three? Okay, ready, set, go. Did I win? Did you win? Try it again. Now position two. Don't forget, when you come back, go to position two. Ready, set, go. Did you remember your position? Were you faster than me? Okay, position one. You're gonna go to position one. I'm not even gonna demonstrate it. You know it. Ready, set, go. Ah! Oh, I almost did the wrong one. Did you do the right position? Position one, did you beat me? Awesome job. Okay, tiny tigers, let's go over what your requirements are for teamwork working together for your stripe test on Thursday. Okay, chumbi, left foot moves, hugul sogi, right foot steps back, ah, hands in front of your face. Okay, teamwork for white belts. You need to be able to work together with me on Thursday when we do your test with punches. Okay, teamwork for yellow belts. You need to be able to work together, copy me almost at the same time for punches and kicks. All right, teamwork for orange belts. <clears throat> you need to be able to do punches, kicks. Um, the punches that you need to be able to do are both your straight punches and your hook punches. And the kicks you need to be able to do are your front kicks and your roundhouse kicks. Okay, and then um, green belt. <clears throat> Teamwork that you need to be able to do with me are your straight punches, your hook punches, your uppercut punches, your front kicks, your round kicks, and your side kicks. Working together, copying almost at the same time. All right, so practice those things. If you need to do a one-on-one -on -one with me before Thursday to practice, that's fine. Let me know, give me a call, text me. I'll be happy to set that up with you, okay? Let's go ahead and review what we did last week. It was our wrist releases. And we're practicing on focusing our eyes, our mind, and our body. So looking, thinking, and doing. Okay, so let's just go over those real quick, just so they don't fall out of our heads. All right, let's start with our pizza. Show me your right hand. Good, and say, that's not your pizza. That's my pizza. And then step and take it with you. Good, show me your left hand. Say, that's not your pizza. That's my pizza. Put way back, step and take your pizza with you. Good, doubles. Those aren't your pizzas. Those are my pizzas. Take a step back, nice and wide. Take them both with you. Good. Let's go over point. Right hand, pretend someone's grabbing you. You're gonna say, that's not your hand, that's my hand, and pull it back to your waist. Then you step forward and point to this guy. Good. Uh, other hand. Say, that's not your hand, that's my hand. Step forward, point to this guy. Good. Two hands. Those aren't your hands, those are my hands. One big step forward and point to this guy. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up. So listen carefully and see if you can keep up. Right hand only, stick it out. Show me point. Good, left hand only. Show me pizza. Good, two hands. Show me pizza. Good, uh, left hand only. Uh, 
that's my left hand, that's your left hand. Show me point. Good, right hand only, show me pizza. Good, two hands, show me point. Good, paddle. Very good, tiny tigers. Chariot, kinye. Komatsumida, rar. Hey, it's about time for a game. Okay, we're gonna try a new game. Well, kind of newish. We're gonna try to play dodgeball when I'm here and you're at home. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna be in the middle and you're gonna have your knees down, knees bent a little bit. That one inch bend. Remember when we were doing our fast touches today? When your knees bend, you can move quickly. Okay, so you're gonna start in the middle, hands up always to protect your face, knees bent, light on your balls of your feet, and I'm gonna have a ball. When you see me about to throw at you, you're gonna scooch to one side or the other, or you could even bend down really low, okay? So if you can avoid getting hit, you win. If I hit you, I win, okay? So ready, set, either scoot or duck, ready? Good, did I get you? If I got you, do five runs in place. If I didn't get you, you're fine. Ready? Watch me, pay attention. When I throw, get out of the way. Did I get you? Do your runs so that you're faster next time. Okay, you guys ready? Be careful, I've got two in my hand, so I might do two in a row. Good. Did I get you? Do your runs. If I got you twice, you have to do 10. Count them out. Hana, tul, se, ne, taso, yoso, ilgo, yada, aho, kyon. Look what I have. I have three. Be careful. I might come from a different angle. Pay attention. Hey, how many times did I get you? Five runs for each time I got you. I'm gonna go pick up the balls. So I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready? Oh my goodness, look how many I have. Be careful, you ready? Good position, knees bent, light on your feet. Be ready? <gasps> ah! Oh no! Here they come. Move around, move around. Oh! How did you do? Do your runs. However many you need to do, five for each time you got hit. All right, very good job today, Tiny Tigers. Teamwork is working together. Good. We help each other. We use kind words, right? Yep. And we don't argue. Practice that at home with your parents, with your brothers and sisters, with your friends. Um, teamwork. You can do it all the time, not just in martial arts or your other sports. All the time in life. Work together to help each other. Okay, tiny tigers, excellent job, chariot. Kinye, komatsunida, rar. Have a great day. Bye.